Sandwiched in a 5-meter-wide metal grid, this is Argentina's attempt to fry the world's largest torta frita. But before this dough ever touches the pan, it takes a team of 24 people to prepare the bread and lift it with a crane. Also, it can be served to the 20,000 people who came to Mercedes, Argentina to eat the biggest torta frita in the world. We visited Mercedes to see how this torta frita is made and what it takes to make such big batches. Making this torta frita begins with a dozen individual bags of flour weighing 9 kilograms each. The flour is emptied on a table, and a team of 12 kneaders make individual mounds of flour, forming a crater in the center. Once formed, another volunteer comes around and adds a large ladle of fat into each mound. Kneaders then mix the flour and fat together, gradually adding about a pitcher of water as they mix and knead the dough. But kneading this dough isn't easy. Gabriela is the head kneader of the festival and has been making giant torta fritas since 2009. Para mí la fiesta de la torta frita es algo muy hermoso porque la vi crecer, la vi nacer, la vi crecer con mucho esfuerzo, con mucho sacrificio. A nosotros nos insume mucho sacrificio. Y un poquito de experiencia tenés que tener porque si no sabes amasar, no podés empezar amasando 9 kilos. En la actualidad, la mal, todas las que amasan esta torta son amasadoras o participantes o es participante o gente que habitualmente en su casa amasa. Todas las amasadoras son de Mercedes. Son 12 amasadoras que se reúnen en torno a esta gran mesa de 6 metros por 6 metros. Eh, se hacen 12 amasijos individuales que luego se van uniendo de a dos, de a cuatro, hasta que queda un único masijo en el centro. While the dough is being formed, another group of volunteers lights a wood fire underneath the five-meter pan that will cook the torta frita. The pan itself is full of 1,600 kilograms of grease, which festival organizers have collected over the course of three months. La grasa también la hacemos nosotros, así que es mucho trabajo y bueno. After the dough has been combined into a single massive ball, it's covered with a cloth and left to rise for 15 minutes. The next step is the most difficult part of the process, flattening and shaping the dough. Working together, bakers walk around the dough in covered shoes using their feet and body weight to push the edges of the dough out until it starts to resemble a giant disc. The part most difficult is now the stirring, because it becomes more complicated, it becomes more dry, the time it becomes a lot, but by little it can. You have to stir with that iron that is there and start to stir. Working together, the team of bakers uses a 6-meter wide rolling pin to get the dough as flat as possible. Standing in the center of the roller, Two workers use their feet to help apply even pressure across the pin. Going section by section, the bakers then rock and roll the pin to gradually flatten the dough. While the bakers try their best to roll the dough into a single flat sheet, it's easier said than done. Parts of the dough rip and need to be patched. Bueno, estoy acomodando los bordes porque los bordes tienen que quedar bien acomodaditos, no salirse afuera para que pueda entrar dentro del sartén. Entonces le doblamos todos los bordecitos para que queden bien acomodaditos. Para ahora le vamos a colocar la otra reja arriba y se va a estar con la lambe bien firme para poderla después llevar al sartén gigante. 
ahora ya están las dos rejillas. Se está asegurando, atando con alambre una rejilla con la otra, para después sí ya poder llevarla al sartén caliente, que ya no está esperando. The metal grid weighs close to a thousand kilograms and helps sandwich the torta frita so it can be lifted by the crane. Todo eso hay que levantarlo, hay que elevarlo con una grúa, hay que colocarlo dentro de 1700 litros de grasa. But it could all go wrong if the grid isn't tight enough. It takes about 10 minutes to fry the first side. And after all of that, they have to take it out again, spin it, and cook the other side. Este, generalmente, cuando la damos vuelta por segunda vez y la colgamos, alguna lágrima cae de emoción. La cocción en sí mismo es algo muy rápido. Son 15 minutos aproximadamente, entre 15 y 20 minutos. 10 minutos por lado, pongamos. Eh, pero todo el proceso nos lleva dos horas a dos horas y media. Una vez que está cocinada de ambos lados, ya está lista para, para comer. Y la torta termina pesando entre 150 y 160 kilos una vez que, que, que deja la grasa de, del sartén. Ese es el peso final que tiene la torta. When the bread is done, workers peel off large sections and hand them out to the hungry crowd. Buenísima, la mejor. Y, y la torta frita tiene que ver con nosotros, tiene que ver con nuestras costumbres, tiene que ver con, nuestra, con nuestras tradiciones, tiene que ver con, con el encuentro que es tan propio de esta zona de la provincia de Buenos Aires y, y por eso se eligió para, para festejarla. In Argentina, torta frita is a popular street food that's often enjoyed with a warm cup of yerba mate. Mate torta frita is Argentina. The Fried Cake Festival began in 1999 as a way to honor and remember veterans who served in the Falklands War. And in 2009, festival organizers decided to make the world's largest torta frita. Over the years, Uruguay and Argentina have passed that record back and forth. And while this annual tradition was paused at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, Mercedes's Torta Frita returned in 2022 to reclaim the world title. Al venir ahora, bueno, comprobamos que es así, que es la más grande. Y bueno, después, eh, al venir ahora, bueno, comprobamos que es así, que es la más grande. Y bueno, estamos acá probando y la verdad que es muy rica. Muy rica. A mí